Oh, hello, B. It's your boy, Big Big B, and we back for another edition of Big Big Business. Listen, man, we are close to that time of year again. Hopefully, you're watching this video when I release it. Otherwise, we may be past it. Yes, the time I'm talking about is Father's Day. And if you are like most people, you uh, waited too long. So I figured I'd come up with this list of last minute Father's Day gift. I'll give you the 10 best fragrances for you last minute shoppers. So here's the deal. A lot of times when you grab a person a fragrance, most people feel like you did not put any time or effort in selecting that scent. So I'm gonna give you some surefire ways to help you when you are giving them that special slash last minute gift. Hopefully this wasn't last minute. This was the first thing you thought of is getting someone some frigates, helping them smell good and feel better. But now that we got that out of the way, you know why we're doing it, let's get down to business. The first fragrance on my list today is a timeless classic and you really can't go wrong with it. All right, so if you're looking for a crowd pleasing scent, this is likely a fragrance that you would grab. This one can be picked up pretty much anywhere. So if you are looking for a fragrance at last minute, this is definitely one that you can grab. This one comes from YSL. I call them a little homie, but this one is Loam. Now Loam is this woody, sparkling, bright, kind of warm fragrance that can be used pretty much for all purpose and again like i said this one is a crowd pleaser so they are likely to enjoy it so little homie aka loam has everything you need in the fragrance you have bergamot you have cedar you have haitian vetiver and this thing just works um this one is very very inoffensive and the person that you're buying this for may have already had this one within their collection maybe out may have forgot about it but this is definitely one that you can grab and feel good about it so loam by ysl <laughs> little homie is faithful the next fragrance is suited for a king well at least that's what the makers thought and this one is k by doshe and gabbana now k by doshe and gabbana was not well received in terms of the fragrance community as it did not get a lot of love there wasn't a lot of hype around this scent however just if you are a person looking to grab a fragrance that smells good this is definitely one that you can reach for now i was originally introduced to this fragrance by kevin samuels I don't know, maybe about a month or so before I was able to pick this one up within a local store. He called me up one day like, yo, B, have you seen this fragrance with the letter K on it by Dolce & Gabbana? I'm like, nope, never heard of it, never seen it. He like, lady just said she got it in. They were exclusive to them for a minute. I'm not sure why they got it first, but they did. He picked it up and dropped his first impressions on this thing. He really enjoyed it, and those who watched his channel enjoyed it as well. And now that I have this one within my collection, I feel like I understand why people enjoy it. This one is this, again, Mediterranean woody type of scent, which is going to be fresh, earthy, all at the same time, and definitely something that could work for you in the summer and spring months. So if you're looking to pick up something for Father's Day, the king in your life, this is definitely one that you can go with and not pay king pricing. The next fragrance on my list is a 2018 release and a follow-up on a fragrance that I believe was released in 2017, which is Y from YSL. This one is YEDP. Now, personally, I believe that you can grab almost any of the fragrances within this Y collection and do just fine if you're looking to pick something up for Father's Day. These fragrances were created for a man that is um, bold, a man that is refined, and a man that is modern. These fragrances were made to be worn with, you know, a white t-shirt, you know, a black jacket, some jeans, ready to take on the world, and this thing definitely has it. In terms of compliment factor, YEDP has gotten a lot of love in the fragrance community. If you're not here and don't watch fragrance videos often, then this one has gotten a lot of love, especially from ladies in terms of the compliment factor so if you're looking for a fragrance that is going to garner compliments if you're like me then that's something that you want to reach for now if you're new to fragrances this one may come off a bit cloying in the beginning however i'm confident that as this thing dries down you begin to wear it a bit more you are going to like it so why buy ysl again it could be the edt it could be the edp it could be why live and then also there is the yo fresh out there that you may enjoy as well get your nose on and try them out and see which fragrance is going to work best for that special man in your life or your dad. 
<laughs> I guess he would be a special man you like with that point. The next fragrance on my list is almost like a 2-4 Warner because I like both of these fragrances, but the one I'm going to recommend is one that I haven't talked about much on the channel. Now, the price point on this one is traditionally a little bit higher. However, this company is running a special at the moment, and I feel like um, this is a great point of entry for you. So here it is, man. Primus from Navitus Parfums. Now, if you are not familiar with Primus or Navitus Parfums, this one is created by a YouTuber by the name of Red Lessons. Well, that's his channel, Red Lessons. His name is Steven. And this is one of the fragrances that um, he was a creative director behind. This one is said to be an enticing fragrance for those who are confident. And to me, this one is this fresh, woody scent that comes off as an extremely high quality scent so if you're looking for a fragrance that suits that or if that special person that you're looking to pick this up for if that sounds like something that suits them this is definitely one that you could go with now on the flip side i traditionally talk about a fragrance from them called Intimus, all right? So Intimus is the more seductive take on a fresh fragrance in my personal opinion, and I really enjoy that. So if you're looking for something that's going to garner compliments, I think both of these will work for you. The sale runs on both of them. From me looking at the website, if you are purchasing one fragrance, you can get it shipped in the US for free. Again, you have plenty of time at this point to do it, even though this is last minute. You have uh, plenty of time to, to get this one shipped and delivered. If you're worldwide, you get two, you get free worldwide shipping. So Intimus is alluring, this one is attractive and inviting, this one is confident, bold. Both work well in the spring and summer, in my personal opinion. High quality scents that you should get your nose on. So Primus and Intimus definitely should be on your list. Next up, we have another scent that's earthy, it's woody, and a new herb release. This is also a fragrance that did not get the best acclaim from the fragrance community, but in my personal opinion, if you're not like into fragrances, I ton you're not going to really know any difference from what the previous versions of this fragrance was and this one is dior ohm now for those who are into fragrance if you're looking to purchase for that special someone and they are deep into fragrances then this one lacks some of the iris that you could find inside the original which really made that one you know, a fan favorite out there. This one takes a different twist on it, a bit more modern twist on it as well. And it can be a bit easier to wear. So I feel like a lot of men out there are going to enjoy this one. If you have someone who is professional, they dress up for work for the times that they are going into work, or they just like to, you know, be dapper a lot. This is a good entry point into a fragrance that is going to allow you to give off that type of feel. So in my personal opinion, I like the new take on the 2020 deal ohm um edt there's a lot of people out there who do not but i think the masses overall are going to enjoy this one and traditionally that's what you get with dior you're going to get a mass appealing type of fragrance that most people are going to enjoy i believe just in my personal opinion the difference comes in for those who were in the fragrance community and really love that iris that came off in the beginning and just that different feel and vibe that it had but all in all i think this one is a good fragrance for father's day and one of the best fragrance releases in 2020 in my humble opinion like the previous fragrance this next one also comes from dior and again another one that is meant to be a crowd pleaser this one is uh three flankers in if you will to me this one is the best which is why i'm speaking on it and this one is dior uh sauvage parfum all right so you had the edt which is the original came off a little bit more aggressive you had the edp which was a good midpoint in my personal opinion i thought that that one was a good one but i believe that the parfum version is the best out of the three so if you're looking for a fragrance that's going to be fresh modern inviting um a fan favorite a crowd's going to be <laughs> pleased by it uh, and likely the person you're purchasing it for is going to enjoy it as well um this is the way to go i actually know someone who recently purchased savage and never smelled it did a blind buy on it. it was like hey b what do you think am i gonna like it and i'm like ah, maybe i think you i think you're gonna enjoy it they got it in it was like nope don't enjoy it and i was like yeah just give it some time and he called me back and like yo you know what you're right I really do like it. So um, he was smelling it through the bottle versus smelling it on skin, which on skin is the best way to try fragrance, by the way. So um, Dior Sauvage Parfum, good fragrance to buy for, again, Father's Day or any other occasion for that matter. So good to have this one within the collection if they're just jumping into fragrances or have been into fragrances for a while and are completionists and need to complete their Dior Sauvage uh, collection. So there you have it, man, Dior Sauvage Parfum. 
Now the next fragrance on this list is one that I feel is a good alternative to Dior Sauvage and in my personal opinion, it's a lot better. Um, it's a lot higher quality and that's just me, man. This one also comes from a YouTuber in terms of the fragrance world and this one is uh, from Jeremy Fragrance and again, this one doesn't smell exactly like Sauvage but I think again, this one is a nice alternative and this one is Office for Men and just like uh, Steven's collection, you could go either way. Now these are two Two of the fragrances that he offers at the moment office for men date for men and these fragrances are coming from a guy who enjoys fragrance understands what gets compliments and these fragrances will definitely fall into that category for you side note about these fragrances um and talk about me enjoying them my son actually has these and he wears office for men a lot especially now like he's waking up, boom, putting that on. And then a date for many also has as well. So cool thing right now, man, if you're looking to pick this fragrance up, Office for Men, he's doing a BOGO on his site right now with pick up Office for Men, you can get a travel size bottle Office for Men for free by using the code Office BOGO. I just went in to verify it and it is working. But I do enjoy both of these fragrances and I think they work for the given circumstances that they say office and on a date so make sure you check those fragrances out if you have not because i think you can get away with those for father's day the next fragrance on my list today is another classic fragrance but this is a different twist on it and in my personal opinion this is the best of the flankers on this one and this one is from chanel and this one is bleu de chanel parfum now i think it's safe to say that the parfum is not the most popular of this series from Chanel as the EDT and the EDP tend to get a lot of the love and the EDP fixed a lot of the issues that you would find in the EDT. For me on my skin, I feel like the Parfum version performs the best and this is the one that I enjoy a bit more. So if you're looking for a fragrance that is going to be crowd pleasing, that is familiar to something that they may have in their collection or may have once had within their collection, this is definitely one that you can pick up. So Bleu de Chanel Parfum is definitely a way to go. This next fragrance is a flanker on one of the best selling fragrances of all time. And then it also shares a name with an extremely popular fragrance within that line. So you have Aqua de Jo series and you have Aqua de Jo Profumo, which was extremely great. And now this is the newest one, which is Aqua de Jo Profundo. Now, don't get that confused with the original name because, um, it's not the same, all right? And the reason why I'm putting this one on the list is because if you are out and about visiting stores as your cities begin to reopen, you are likely going to be flooded by sales associates pushing this one on you because this one is the newest version. Now, this one to me is this long lasting, clean Mediterranean type of scent as the other ones have been as well. And I think that this one is going to be a good fragrance for the office. So if you're wearing it out and about casually, I think that this one could work. Now, if you leave some Something that um, you know is a tried, tested, and true fragrance, and for Fumo is the way to go in terms of the Aqua de Joe series. But I think if you're looking to be on trend with something that's newer, you know, and they can feel like, hey, this person is buying me the latest and greatest, then this is definitely something that you can pick up. Um, this one can be found pretty much anywhere. So if you're looking at big box retailers, going into places like um, Sephora as well, you'll be a okay with picking something like this one up, and you may even be able to find this one in places is like Alta. So this one should check all of the boxes as an easy to find fragrance that comes in at a good price point. So there you go, man. Aqua de Joe Profundo. And then the final fragrance I want to mention on this list today. And by the way, this is in no particular order here. All right. These are just fragrances that you can pick up that I think your father, a special man in your life will enjoy as these fragrances uh, generally get the job done. This next fragrance comes from a fragrance company that's been doing things for a while. It's not a, a low cost of entry, but I feel like if you're looking to, you know, splurge a little bit, this one could be a good performer for you, especially in the spring and summer months. This one comes from Parfum de Marley and this one is Sedley. Now I really do enjoy Sedley, especially for the spring and summer fragrance setup. So if you're looking for one that's going to perform well on the skin, smells amazing, and that can generally speaking get you compliments when you're around people, I feel like this is the way to go. Now there are a lot of fragrances out there and a lot of new fragrances that get a lot of love as well. And you may not choose Use any of these fragrances on the list. The whole thought process in this video is for you to put a bit more thought in these fragrances as these are generally last minute ideas for you to fill up a bag or to add a gift with a card or something. So 
Here are some fragrances that will be surefire winners for you overall. But again, there are a lot of other ones out there that do well and will do well if you decide to pick them up. I.e., you have this Prada Black. This one is a top performer for me. You also have Coach for Men that does extremely well. You have Explorer. You see where I'm going with this, man. There are a lot of fragrances out there that will work, that will garner compliments, and I think that special man in your life will enjoy. And if you're looking for this for your dad, then I think he will enjoy them as well. Well, so as always, I'm your boy, Big Beard Beat. Don't hit the like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again with 10 of the best fragrances for you last minute Father's Day shoppers. <laughs> so now that you know what we're here for, you know, come back, watch another video, you know, and hit the goddamn bell.